It is hair day. You guys, it's hair day. It is hair day. I'm getting my hair box braided today, and look at what's under here. <laughs> I'm talking to my camera. Man, people nowadays, they just don't understand. Okay. It's a little bit dry. Let me see what I can do. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I just need to wash my hair and finally have it in a protective style because I'm done. I'm done with having my natural hair out. It's been, I think, a month, three weeks or a month, whatever it's been. It's been too long. That's all I know. Just need a little, a little volume until. I get there. <coughs> Somebody's sick. Why is it that the front of the hair is always so easy to comb? The middle is difficult and the back is even more difficult. Love me like you do. My love. because we're running a little bit late once again but I'm gonna get him to hurry up yes if I fall down it's gonna be worse than the Margot TikTok because you know me I will stay down for three hours one two where are you Still on my. Oh, your sunglasses. When you go, and I open the glass. Can I have your keys? Because I didn't bring my keys. Um, Thank you. You can take my bag too. Okay, where? I'll just uh, find them. Forgot his sunglasses, so I'm gonna go back to get them for him. Meet him at the wait, I meet you at the front, right? No, I did so. Oh here, okay. <sighs> Lord. Where is this man? Oh, still getting the bike ready. Wow. Anyways, we have this joke where I'm like, he's very old and I'm very young because his body's always so broken. Like his hips are hurting, his wrist is hurting. So I'm seeing him struggle. <laughs> Why are you doing it? <sighs> okay, take your glasses.
Oh, yeah. Remember how I said in the last video, there's always a lot going on, but I can just. Hello. So, no, no. Come. Hello, Mariam. First, I'm going to wash, condition, and then get the box braids. The best feeling. <laughs> okay, I just finished getting my hair done and now we're gonna go to this vegan guy so I can get a few things. There's a lot happening right now. <laughs> and that's pretty much it. I just woke up honestly like 20 minutes ago. I'm a little bit tired. And um, you got a Bluetooth headset for his helmet and now he's... <laughs> he's like, I can't hear you. Now he's rocking out. Okay. Oh, let me take this off. Okay. Let's go. My go to. Okay. Well, um, samples. Allora, settimana prossima. Ok. Ciao. Grazie mille. Ciao. Ciao. Pizza ripiena. Pizza ripiena. Pizza ripiena. Cosa ripiena mean? Ripiena vuol dire che sa pizzare. Oh. Okay, we are home now. I'm actually so tired. Sitting down for like five, five, yeah, about five hours. It just gets you tired. Like I literally took a nap. I fell asleep. I woke up. I'm like, oh, we're almost done. Anyways, at the vegan place, I was too busy eating the sample that I didn't even get to really show you guys what we got. So it's hard to see. It's very hard to see. This is a bean burger. Andrea actually got this because he said he really likes them. I got a, um, it's melons, like an eggplant burger, but it's a different kind. I don't know, I never tried that one before. And then this right here is just like um, seitan. So it's just like full of protein. It's almost like tofu, but not really. And yeah, I think right now, because I haven't eaten, Aiden? I haven't had anything today <laughs> besides just a sample. So I think I'm going to make this because I'm very excited to try it. And then, and then we will see, just one step at a time. Um, Andre is actually, I think right now he's like shaving. He's actually leaving tomorrow for a pool tournament in Bolzan, which is where we went for my birthday. The vlog will be somewhere there. And um, yeah, he's gone for like four, yeah, for like four days. So <laughs> what does that mean? I don't know, but I think it'll be nice to have the house to myself for a bit because you guys already know how I feel about me, my space, my environment, being alone. So I think it'll be nice and then he can have, you know, his own time doing whatever he's doing, playing pool. Playing pool wherever he is. I don't know why, but as soon as I finished doing my hair till now, I just lost like 40% energy. And I was only running on 50 anyway, so you know what that means. Um, and also like, I don't know, does this happen to you guys? Like the tip, I can't feel this. Just know I can't feel this. Like the tip of my pinky finger, frozen. I don't know why. And uh, I think I need to eat. So let me just make this and uh, I'll show you guys the final result. 
trying to fix my tripod because there's one leg that's a little bit loose. Uh, he's ironing his stuff for his trip. I'm waiting for the ch -ch, my Victorinos. Supposed to be the opposite, she ironed the stuff. But... <laughs> yeah, but okay, I was trying to help him in the beginning yes. when we first moved yeah, here, okay. ironing. A but... little bit with your mom. Anyways. I was trying to help him in the beginning when we moved here ironing but I didn't really know how to do it properly because when I lived at home my mom did my ironing and then when I lived by myself I never even owned an iron so now he just wants to do it if he wants to take over I ain't mad at that mm -hmm. I forgot to show my lunch I was so hungry the last clip I was like yes when I finish cooking I'll show you guys it was the melon satin burger. I didn't really like it that much. No? I like the original one better. I don't know the why. The original from uh, Super <laughs> No, my love. Okay. I'm sick of that one. The one, the melon satin burger like I brought to Mario's house. Okay. I think that was my first time I had it. Uh, Around, this was different? This was like Parmigiano and melon satin. Parmigiano. I don't know. And cheese. Cheese and... Uh, but it was... It was like red. It looked... It looked good. Red. Yes, there is sauce inside. Oh, sauce. Oh, that's why... Uh, I wish I just... Next time, stick with your original choice always. Don't change your mind last second. At least now my finger is not like frozen at the end. No, now I need to normal. my swing. You're swimming trunks. I hear, I hear everything. Okay. Now I decide what I want. Because yeah. if I hear now, when I hear it again, mm -hmm. next house. Now I tell to my mom, I tell to my mom, when you leave, I bring everything. She leave, she, she wash. Wash? Why is everything here? That's what I asked you. you. Give me my knife, please. Your knife. You don't have a knife. My knife. <laughs> I have a, a Victorinos that I got in Berlin. Where is uh, it? I got it in Berlin. You was watching the stuff for uh, the girl. And why is my jacket on the floor? See, this is why I can't come in this room because I when I come in here, my blood pressure is low. When I leave, my blood pressure is high every day. Why are you in my room? Where's my knife? Uh, in the pocket, with the jeans is in the room. Goodbye. Hello, my Huh? Bye, your sister. This guy talks about my sister one more time. I'm gonna sh give him a big knock to the face. Yes, I'm on the floor, but... Okay, so this... I can do. You think when you leave your knife at home, I'm not playing around with it? I know what to do. Yes, thank you. Leave my knife. Sometimes you do. Very few times, but sometimes you touch. he does. Of course, I touch. What's yours is mine, and what's mine is mine. Okay. Oh no. It's too small. Show me. Uh -huh. uh, we need the, the, the true school guy. A true, yeah. It's okay, it's not an emergency. Okay. Next, next week. We tried, it doesn't work. This is for the glasses, you know? Yes, the small, small stuff. So, what is the black uh, shirt thermic? You, yeah, wash it yesterday. No. Oh. Yes. Yes, I did. Outside. Unless you, did you bring it out? Br bring it inside. I'm locked up. They won't let me. Uh, what's my? Oh, I'm like why is my pocket dangling like that? 
Andy Cohen recounts ordeal of losing money in elaborate scam. When did Andy Cohen lose all this money? And what scam did he lose his money in? The productive side of me wants to start marking tests because I have a lot of tests to mark. The lazy side of me wants to just like chill. Another side of me wants to go to the grocery store right beside us to get uh, detergent. Funny, in I think a couple vlogs ago, I bought detergent, it just finished. And I need detergent again because I have a pile of clothes to wash. My love? Yes, my love. Are you gonna miss me when you're gone? Yeah. Are you gonna miss me when you're gone? Are you going to miss me when yes, you're gone? Like Just wondering, just checking. Yes, uh, 550. 550? Yeah. 15 or 50? 50. 50 oh, almost 6. Almost 6. I thought it was earlier. Yeah, me too. I remember earlier. Maybe yeah. 5 or 5. <laughs> but I am looking now, yes. 550. 550. Sure. Yes, check your phone too. I do remember earlier though. Strange, the Mandela effect. Oh, do you know about the Mandela effect? Huh? Do you know about the Mandela effect? Mandela. Mandela. Yes, not Nelson Mandela. What's Mandela. Mandela. No. Okay. Who's? It's not who, it's um... Let me, I have to show you an example and then I can explain it. Okay, do you know when Nelson Mandela passed away? Huh? When? When? I like in the 80s and 90s? Yeah, like in the 90s. Yes, okay, so everybody who's like... 40 years ago, 40 years ago. Everybody who's older than us said that Nelson Mandela passed away in like uh, the 1980s. But the truth is he died in 2013. Ah. That's that's thirty years difference. So nineteen eighties to twenty thirteen. But I remember something. Uh, I remember when we was doing that. So it's like this. You know, Curious George. I don't know if you know this. No, a lot of these are like American stuff. Okay, you know how this is the the man from Monopoly, but the truth is this is him. He doesn't have any glasses. But everybody in the world remembers him like this. These are the Mandela effects. Why are you looking at me like you that? You don't have nothing to do today. Okay, look. Peek, peek. Could you look? But this is the truth. Look at the tail. There's no black. But everybody remembers Pikachu like this. But it's really like this. Oh, wow. I don't know if I can... Like, this guy doesn't even... Go pick up your phone and get out of here. He doesn't understand. Do you have anything else to do today? Oh, I thought he just answered his phone in English. I was like, who are you talking to? The freelance one didn't get me. Like, nobody th wait. Yeah, the fruit loop one, <laughs> I was like, this one didn't get me because I obviously know that the double O in the fruit loops was like the two Cheerio things. Or Cheerio, you know, the cereal things. Hello guys, it's the next day. Yesterday I stopped filming because if you couldn't tell, I was just getting tired and tired every second and I I had to stop, I had to stop. But anyways, new day. As I said yesterday, Andrea's like six hours north it, um, in Italy right now, or I guess he's on his way there now, but I, last time we talked, like an hour ago, he's almost there. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna be home alone. Today's Friday, so Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and he comes back late in the evening on Monday. All good. Um, I woke up, I did my morning stuff. I don't really film my morning stuff all the time just because you know what I do. You know what I do, devotional, no, what I do? <laughs> Journal, devotional, Bible, and then sometimes I'm, I'll do like a little Bible plan or whatever, not a plan, like a Bible challenge, I guess, on the Bible app. So that's what I'm doing right now. It's called Financial Fitness, I believe, by Rick Warren, who made the book uh, The Purpose, The Purposeful Life, The Purpose of Your Life. 
I don't know, but I'm gonna put it on the screen. Anyways, it's a very good challenge, I love that. So today my main focus, not my main focus, but something I'm working on slowly is cleaning the whole house because why does it look like a, a bomb just went off in here? I don't know. So I did the dish, there was dishes in the sink last night and obviously I'm not like so, like it's not like a big rule for me, you know? I'm not like Laura and Jeremy from Love is Blind, but obviously I prefer for there not to be dishes at night, but sometimes like we just get super lazy and there is. So, finish that. There was his seafood pasta in the fridge. Guys, this was from like two vlogs ago, I think, or maybe, I guess maybe the last vlog, but this was like a few days ago. And I'm like, this is definitely not good anymore. So threw that pasta in the garbage and I just have the like the bowl uh, soaking in the sink. So that's the only thing that's in the sink right now. Um, I feel like I'm explaining a lot. I'm gonna go to the garbage right now actually because I took the garbage out, but I think I explained this before. Basically our concierge, like if you leave the garbage outside your door, he's only here from like in the morning till I think 2 p.m. So if you leave it outside your door within those times, he will take the garbage out for you, which is like so nice and so kind. Um, I left it out there, but not for him to really take it out, but just because I didn't want like garbage in the house that has pasta in it, you know? I just put it out 10 minutes ago, so I'm going out right now just to throw that out. And then yeah, when I come back, I can clean the washroom and then start doing the floors. And I think that'll be like the main gist of it all because it's just the floors I wanna do and the washroom. I also just put in some laundry, so obviously that's going right now. Uh, the spare bedroom looks horrible, but that's honestly not my fault, not my problem. Like we know, I love Andrea, but I'm not his mom, so he can deal with that when he comes back. And yeah, let's go outside to throw out that garbage. I also just wanna get some fresh air. I did sit outside um, earlier for a little bit, for like half an hour, just getting the sun on my face. Now the sun is on the other side of the house, but I need to clean, so let's do that. What else do I wanna do later? I don't know if I wanna go to the gym, we will see. I was gonna say it's still early, but like it's just early in the day. It's only noon, 12.05, so yeah, let me put these back in my ear. I also have this incense going and I talk, I, everything I'm saying today, I'm like, I talked about this before. I have talked about this before. This is like, I think vanilla. Um, vanilla, yeah, I think this is vanilla or musk. I don't remember, but I had a little, not con, okay, let me take this out because I feel like I'm, I had a little confliction, I think a couple months ago and I was telling guys like, is incense good or bad? And it kind of came to like the decision that, okay, it depends what you're using using it for because I mentioned this, if I'm using like strawberry or like vanilla or musk just for the scent, just for the flavor, I believe it's fine. I believe it's fine, okay? But if I'm using incense to like clear bad spirits or like, I don't know, align my chakras or just something that's like not really aligning with, you know, the word and God, that's when I like, I draw the line. So this is just like vanilla, honestly, just for the smell, just because I'm in like that mood right now of cleaning and I just wanna like, you know, that's it, that's it. We're not trying to do like a whole sage, Palo Santo type thing here. <laughs> Absolutely not, okay? Let's go. to the garbage it's in the back today it's always like i never know where it is actually sometimes it's in the back sometimes it's in the front but here we are done with that the weather is actually really nice today i'm kind of loving it you can see Andrea's bike behind me if i knew how to ride a motorcycle i would take his bike out but i don't know how so that is that I'm feeling super active today, so we're gonna take the stairs up. And as you guys know, we only live on the second floor, so it's not that much work. Okay, we're done with the washroom. I cleaned the glass, um, like the mirror basically, and then did the floors. Um, Andrea, his task 
in the house are to clean the uh, toilet and the bidet and then he does like the spare bedroom because as I said before it's all his stuff so he did the toilet and bidet not too long ago like a few days ago but obviously when he comes back he'll be doing it again so yeah that's just how we kind of split up the task everything else in the house like I do like the laundry the floors um, like 90% of the cleaning you know if I'm like obviously sick or like he's making something for himself obviously he's gonna clean up after himself in that type of way but um yeah so i'm literally sitting on the chair right now <laughs> next okay also oh sorry i'm not really facing the light yeah, the light is actually so bright behind me can i just wow well, should have been like this the whole time or even this would be better no never filmed at this angle before okay why I'm listening to worship music, so I'm just in my own, I'm in my own space, I'm in my own dimension, it's just me and God, you know, me and God and the artists singing these songs. But yeah, every time I clean, I always have like a different, I guess different way of cleaning, like sometimes I will sweep the whole house and then mop the whole house, sometimes I'll do room by room, today I'm feeling room by room, obviously, so now that I know the washroom is completely all done, I'm going to do our bedroom next and then obviously not obviously but after every room i always just open the window just like i did with the washroom just like that so the air can flow through onto the floor now i will do our bedroom let me get a sip of water water why did i say it like that sometimes i'm like i'm saying my t's are turning into d's water w-a-d-e-r okay I hear the laundry almost like you know when you just know your laundry machine like after it does the final spin so i hear the laundry almost finishing but i will do i'll deal with that last because there is laundry outside some of the stuff are like kind of not kind of dry some of the stuff are dry i touched them like earlier and um, i'll take the dry dry stuff and then i'll just you know you'll see everything let's start sweeping the bedroom now listen daughter pay attention pray and hear your father his lies they told are so familiar they will haunt you they will kill you keep you hostage king will heal you before him adore him he will give you everything come and take your Can't hand keep going back to what i used to know Please hold my hand as I go down this road. Can't keep going back to what I used to know. But please hold my hand as I go down this road. You guys, I'm just chilling in the bed for a bit. Not really chilling, but I'm actually like doing stuff. I posted a podcast clip on my podcast TikTok. Um, and then now I'm editing like, it's just a very quick TikTok clip for my personal TikTok. I'm talking about the fear of judgment, but it's longer. And it's longer than one minute. That doesn't matter, no. What really matters is that it's horizontal and it's kind of long. I think it's, yeah, like two minutes altogether. So clips like that, I don't post them too often, but when I do, I like to edit it on Final Cut Pro rather than on my phone. I mostly like editing vertical clips on my phone and then like the horizontal clips on my computer. That just like makes sense for me. Don't mind that, those are my gym clothes that I may be using later. I don't know if I wanna to go to the gym yet, but anyways, uh, let me not make this too loud, but yeah. It's just the video I start, okay, this is annoying me. Um, <laughs> I'm just like kind of doing my hair and talking about the fear of judgment. So yeah, this will be on my personal TikTok. You guys, I took like a one hour, maybe an hour and a half nap <laughs> after uploading all my stuff uh, for like social media and it took me a while to get out of bed. I'm awake now. I'm alert. I'm alive. I'm just going to head to the, I guess the grocery store next door. I want to get some like sleepy tea. <laughs> so funny i just woke up no but like some nighttime tea i also want to get these like vegan ice cream bars you'll see and then i have body wash on my list and then there's another place which is like right beside the building and they just sell like lots of fruits and vegetables but we get our water from there so i'm gonna get water from there too so just a few little things to pick up um as i'm out i'm not going to the gym i'm not honestly um uh, 
today i guess i can say it now because it's past the time but i was actually uh doing prayer and fasting today so from six to six uh 6 a.m to 6 p.m right now it's like 6 30 i think so um yeah there was a lot of things i didn't show on camera just because you know you're not supposed to be like telling the world that you're fasting when you're doing it alone if you're doing a corporate fast it's a little bit different literally as you can see my bible my highlighters my airpods and then my gym clothes which i obviously didn't use so yeah i mostly just looked like i was cleaning today and then i uploaded a few things on social media which is like part of the truth but it's also reading a lot of my bible especially in the morning when i didn't film and then i was praying a lot as well so that is that. Um, there's just a lot going on in my life. And as you know, if you know, some things can only be broken by prayer and fasting. And it is what it is. It says it in the word. So I take the word to be true. Anyways, let's go out. Um, I wanted to like go a little bit further, like go to a different grocery store. But I'm just like my body right now. I don't know why. Today I'm just, well, I know why. But like I've done six to six fasting before. And today I'm just feeling very more down than usual even the nap in the afternoon that's what really like got me because i never you guys never hear me talk about taking naps in the afternoon because i don't i just sleep in the night and i know that if i'm taking a nap in the afternoon i must be like i must be really tired or something must be depleted so that is that and uh yeah let's head to the grocery store